So you know how you're on Instagram and you have your profile there and you want people to go over to your website, but you're only given one clickable link. Well, you can either change that link every time you have a new piece of content, a new URL that you want somebody to visit, or you can do what we might consider the smarter thing and do what's called a link in bio page. Now, this is something that we at Imagely have done for years, straight in WordPress without any additional plugins. I also do this on my personal photography profile as well, doing this using no additional plugins. This is something you can do right inside of WordPress, but it does require certain things. It does require a specific theme, and it does require using the block editor in WordPress. Do you want to make a link in bio page in WordPress? In this video, I am going to show you how to make a link in bio page. Hey, my name is Scott Widenkivowicz, the Chief Community Officer here at Imagely. Pardon my voice, I lost my voice, and well, this is the one video I'm recording today <laughs> because I gotta give my voice a break. A link in bio page is basically a way to send traffic from different social media profiles, like Instagram or TikTok or Twitter, wherever, and send it to a specific page on your site that will then link out to additional pages. Right? This is commonly used by many influencers, but it can be used by any photography business, so why not do it? Some people might say you need to use a page builder plugin. There are many page builder plugins that can do what I'm about to show you. But when in reality, you don't need any plugins. All you really need is a good modern WordPress theme and the block editor, codenamed Gutenberg, right? That's it, that's all you need, because really, Gutenberg is a page builder. So let's dive into this. You can see here, I have a theme set up. I have a full website set up right here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in and go to new page. And for this demo, I am just going to call it link in, oops, link in bio demo. Now, here is why having a modern WordPress theme is important. You'll see that right down here, you have Imagely theme settings. From here, I can go ahead and say to do uh, a full width design, right? With one click, I can say, make it full width, meaning there's no sidebar on this page, okay? I can even go ahead and say, disable my footer. I don't want the footer to show. And I could even go to the header and do the same thing, hiding the header. And here's why that's important. This needs to be a fast loading page that has one specific pur purpose. Its specific purpose is to send people to other places on your site. Now, this might sound a little strange because typically when you have somebody on your site, your goal is to get them to give you an email address, a name, a phone number, whatever, to become a lead, right? You want them to give you their information so that you can eventually hire them for your photography business. But in this case, you're setting people to a page that is then sending them to another page, right? This is now expected from people from a link in bio. So the first thing we are going to do is drag an image into the block editor and drop that right into the page. And then we're going to shrink it down a little and then center it so it kind of looks like a header but without all the other things that come with the header. There's no menu, there's no nothing else, it's just the logo image. Now below your logo, you might wanna add a spacer. So I'm just going to add a spacer block and make that 50 pixels in height. And then below that is where you wanna start adding your link in bio page buttons. So I'm gonna add a button. And for this, we're actually going to make the uh, width of this 100%. I'm gonna make the border radius zero. We're gonna choose our color. So for this, I will do, uh, let's see, what color should we do? Let's do this nice dark blue. And the text we wanna make sure is white. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is send them to my lead magnet. So I'm going to say, get the family style guide. 
And when they go to this, we're going to then link this button to, you know, the guide. Now, in this example, I don't actually have one, but this is what that is. Now, what you could do is you could actually duplicate this and have another button here, or you could just hit the plus sign here to add a fresh button with a different color. So I'm going to go ahead and do the duplicate. I'm going to see, say, read the family photo blog. And we're going to link to this one to blog, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and we're going to duplicate this again. And we're going to say, see the, see my family photo portfolio. And then we'll change this to portfolio. And then we can do one more that says something like, follow me on TikTok. If we send people to this page from, let's say, Instagram, now you're sending them to TikTok as a way of getting them to follow you in multiple places. And then you can go even go to the extent of changing the color of the one button to stand out to make it so that has more attention. Now, if you want to go the other direction and, you know, make this one, the first one stand out, you can go ahead and do that. And now the first one will stand out. And that is the one that has your lead generation. Now, but now if we preview this on tablet, you'll see it will look okay. And on mobile, it will also look okay. And if we preview this on the front end, you'll see that there's pretty much no information here aside from what we put. There's no header, there's no featured image, there's no footer, there's nothing aside from what you actually put. Yes, it keeps the themes style from what you have, but you could also go to the extent of customizing that if you really want to. So let's add another spacer. Make that 50 pixels again. And then we're gonna add another, uh, another block and we're gonna call it latest posts. And now from here, you could go ahead and you can turn on the featured image. And we can do this as a large one, center it. And we can have it only show one item. And now we can customize this and have it look however we want. If we wanna do more than one, we can actually do more than one. We can actually increase this to two make this a grid, and now we've got two side by side. Just like that. So now you're automatically you're showing the latest blog posts, the latest blog posts on your LinkedIn bio page. So again, we can save the draft, preview this on the front end, and now you're gonna see, again, you've got your call to action here, you've got the standard buttons here, and you've got your latest blog posts that they can click over to and read those now, if you post this photo on your Instagram or on your Twitter and they go to your LinkedIn bio, they're going to see that photo with the correlated blog posts right there on that LinkedIn bio page automatically. Now, as a bonus, yes, anything you have in the background for tracking, for example, if you are tracking with Google Analytics, if you're tracking with, um, with Microsoft Clarity or any of these analytics tools, Facebook analytics, things like that, all of that will run automatically because you're just using your WordPress theme. You're just using the block editor and nothing else out of the ordinary. One additional thing I want to mention is if you want to go to the extent of adding social icons, you could actually do that as well. So I can go ahead and I can add an icon and we can actually say Twitter and do Facebook and do Instagram. So instead of having this one button here for follow me on TikTok, you could have all of them here. So as you can see, a lot of the icons that you might want already exist. And you can link each of these to your profile. You can center this so that it fits nicely. You can have the icons larger, huge, however you want. Remember, this is on mobile. People are typically viewing this on mobile, which means that if, when viewing on mobile, you want certain things larger text to be about 18 pixels. So icons you want about 18 pixels, maybe 20, 22, things like that. The last thing I want to mention is if you're using Yoast SEO, which I strongly recommend, scroll down. And because this is meant to be viewed via a mobile device through something like a Twitter or an Instagram or a TikTok or wherever, and not something that people are just finding through Google, you want to make sure that you are blocking this from search engines. So in Yoast SEO, go down to the advanced dropdown, and then you're going to uh, turn off, say no, 
to should search engines follow links on this page? You're gonna say no. And you're also gonna to go to allow search engines to show this page in search results, and you're going to say no. Save that draft, then when you're ready to publish, now that will not be in your sitemap and it will not be found through Google. If you would like to utilize this exact link in bio page, I am making this available for you. All you have to do is copy the text, create your new page, click on the menu icon at the top right, go to code editor and paste the, the text, this HTML, just as you see it right here. Then when you exit the code editor, you're going to see all of this show up for you. Now, it's worth noting that I will be switching this logo to text. So please be sure to insert your logo image at the top instead of using the text. So if you copy and paste, you will see everything in this white box show up on your new LinkedIn bio page. We hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Now you can go ahead, make a very sleek and modern LinkedIn bio page without the need for any third-party plugins. We strongly recommend you pick up the Imagely theme, which comes with the Imagely Pro package. That way you've got full customization over everything you need on your photography site. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.